Hey, from the Mike Eisenstadt Live Performance Studio here at WMNF Radio in Tampa, FLA. It's the Live Music Showcase. I'm Bill Dudley. I'll be your host today. And we've got two guests on our show today, one very young and one not too young. <laughs> on the show today, we have Miss Gabriella Rose. She's going to be playing guitar, mandolin, singing some songs. And we've also got uh, Jimmy Payne on the guitar and vocal cords. And welcome, both of you, to the Live Music Showcase. We're happy to have you guys on the show today on this happy Thanksgiving Thanksgiving holiday show. So um, we flipped a coin, and uh, Jimmy won, so he's going to go first. And we'll hear a song from Gabriella, if that's okay with you. What you got, Jim? I'm going to play a traditional uh, Lakota song called Tunkashila. Uh, it's basically a gratitude song since this is Thanksgiving and my uh, latest grandson, my second grandson was born eight, nine days ago and I had to introduce him to music so this is one of the first <laughs> things he heard on the All guitar. Right. Yeah. Tonka Sheila I follow that up that's too short what's that do another one do another one another one just that was a little tiny short one yeah that was that was kind of short <laughs> Ramona, she looks kind of like Tempest Storm. She can dance like Little Egypt. She works at a snake farm. Snake farm, just sounds nasty. Snake farm, what it pretty much is. Snake farm, it's a reptile house. A snake farm. Woo. Ramona's got a keen sense of humor. There's a tattoo running down her arm. Of a python eating a little mouse that's wearing a sailor hat that says snake farm. Snake farm. Just sounds nasty. Snake farm. What it pretty much is a snake farm. It's a reptile house. It's a snake farm. Woo! I asked Ramona how come she works there. She says it's got its charm. Not much to do in the winter. Sometimes a little kid gets bit at the snake farm. Snake farm just sounds nasty. Snake farm, what it pretty much is. Snake farm, it's a reptile house. It's a snake farm. Woo! Ramona likes 40-ounce malt liquor and a band from Wales called The Alarm. She says she cried when they broke up. She still plays their music at the snake farm. Snake farm. Just sounds nasty, snake farm. Pretty much is a snake farm. It's a reptile house, it's a snake farm. Woo! I forgot to tell you, this is a sing along. <laughs> Sometimes Ramona calls me up, says, Get on down here, it's getting warm. She runs everybody off, and then we uh, at the snake farm. Snake farm. Just sounds nasty, snake farm. Pretty much is a snake farm. Reptile house is a snake farm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were all singing along there. 
<laughs> That's Jimmy Payne on the guitar and vocal cords. Who one of our guests on today's live music show? Our other guest, Gabriella Rose. Gabriella is probably one of the younger people we've had on the show recently. Yeah. I think, maybe, could be. Why don't you do a song for us? Okay. What's this going to be? Um, this song is actually a Christmas song. It's called Every Day Will Be Like a Holiday by William Bell. All right. And you got your mando there? Yep. Music from Gabriella Rose, our guest on today's live music showcase. Thanks for coming down to be on the show, Gabriella. Thank you're, you for you're probably, having me. You're one of the better dressed people that's been on our show. She's got sparkly boots on, folks. It looks really great. You can watch the show live and see Gabriella and Jimmy here on uh, on the air live on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash LMSWMNF. So check us out live on Facebook. Later on, we'll be on YouTube, on our very own YouTube channel, so you can watch the show again. And, of course, you can always listen to it on the archive and uh, anytime you want to here. This is WMNF in Tampa, where support comes from our members and Happy Feet Plus. For those having foot, leg, knee, and back pain, Happy Feet Plus offers footwear solutions fashioned to make your feet happy. 
and is a full-service shoe store, including a complimentary foot scan analysis at their 10 Bay Area locations. So, live music showcase in progress from WMNF. Mark Perfetti does the mixing here on today's show, assisted by Richard Stone, who is also our YouTube producer. We have Brian Penier and Ed Lehman on the cameras, along with Larry Lockdown and Bob Hoke directing the video portion of this here radio show. And we're happy to have our two beautiful guests on today's show. we got Jimmy Payne playing the guitar and singing songs. Now, you write a lot of songs, don't you? Um, I've heard tell you do. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got a few originals written up here. Yeah. What are you going to do for us next year? This is a medley of uh, two songs. The first one's by uh, Ron Hines, the late Ron Hines. And I wrote a sequel to the song, so it'll when you see it change keys, you know you're going into my song. It's called Sonny's Lost on George Street, and Ron's song is called Sonny's Dream. Sonny lived on a farm in a wide open space. You can take off your sneakers and give up the race. Lay down your head by the sweet riverbed, Sonny always remembers words his mama said, mama said, Sonny don't go away cause I'm here all alone, your daddy's a sailor who never comes home, and the nights get so long, silence goes on, I'm feeling so tired, I'm not all that strong. Sonny carries a load, though he's barely a man. There ain't all that to do, but he does what he can. And he watches the sea from his room by the stairs, and the waves keep on rolling. They've done that for years. It's a hundred miles from town, but Sonny's never been there. He just goes to the highway and stands there and stares. The mail comes at four, and the mailman is old, but he still has dreams of silver and gold. Sonny's dreams can't be real, they're just stories that he's read. He's got stars in his eyes, he's got dreams in his head. He's hungry outside, for the wide world outside, and I know I can't hold him. I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried. Sonny, don't. Your daddy's a sailor who never comes home. The nights get so long, silence goes on, and I'm feeling so tired, I'm not all that strong. Well, Sonny pulled his sneakers on beside that flowing stream, and he lit out for the city with a backpack and a dream. By the time he got to George Street, his feet were hot and sore. His clothes all smelled of diesel from his days out on the road. Oh, the hunger for adventure that had driven him to town. Now steered his feet to chesses where he laid his last coins down. Finding meager comfort in a plate of fish and chips. Sonny faced the streets again, a prayer was on his lips. Sonny lost on George Street, a hundred miles from home. Now he dreams of solitude and the life that he had known. He gazes at the sea from the cliffs on Signal Hill, and the waves keep on rolling like they always will. People on the crowded street pass by without a word. There's more faces than he's ever seen, there's sounds he's never heard. When the streets are empty, he seeks what shelter he can find. He works by day and he spends his pay on things to ease his mind. Sonny's lost on George Street, a hundred miles from home. Now he dreams of solitude and the life that he had known. He gazes at the sea from the cliffs on Signal Hill. And the waves keep on rolling like they always will. The days grow short and the crowds grow slim and Sonny grows grim. He shivers and recalls the words his mother said to him. Now he's learned a thing or two about the world outside. He'd gladly go back to Harbor Mill, but for this 
customer and pride. Sonny's lost on George Street, a hundred miles from home. Now he dreams of solitude and the life that he had known. He gazes at the sea from the cliffs on Signal Hill, and the waves keep on rolling like they always will, and the waves keep on rolling like they always will. I like both of those songs. Yeah, the first time I heard Sonny's Dream, I was smitten by it. And, oh, yeah. And that's I, a, that's I stood a, a for three years over writing that. the sequel to it. Yeah, well, you did a good job there. That's, uh, that's our guest, Jimmy Payne, here. And you're tuned into the Live Music Showcase on WMNF in Tampa. You can watch our show live on Facebook. Just go to Facebook, type in LMS WMNF. And you'll see us live, courtesy of our great uh, LMS video crew here. So our other guest on the show is Gabriella Rose. And Gabriella, what's your story? When did you start, when did you start uh, picking and singing, as we like to say? Um, well, I started playing music all my life. but um, When you were a little, like a baby. Yes. Um, I just Don't loved... tell me you had a little tiny guitar, right? <laughs> um, I got a guitar when I was about eight. Um, uh-huh. I um, actually just got this guitar, but anyways, I started uh, writing music when I was about four, and I just loved the sound of of it, and it just was just, I loved um, how it sounded, and I felt like I just had a connection with it. That's really nice, yeah. Well, you're going to still play your mando in this next tune? Is this one of your tunes? Yes. Coming up? What's this this all Um, about here? It's called Christmas Baby. I wrote this last year, and um, I don't know. It was just um, a lot of inspiration, and I usually write songs on different instruments, and it just depends on the inspiration and where you get it. Has your family been an inspiration to you also? I yes, mean, have they been very supportive of your me. music? A big inspiration. My family has supported me in what I'm doing in this career. Okay, so... That's a, another song from Gabrielle Rose. This song is called Christmas Baby. Baby. 
Nice job there. That's Gabriella Rose, one of our guests on today's live music showcase here from WMNF. Hey, do you want to make a difference by giving instead of buying on this uh, Black Friday? Something to think about. WMNF is taking place in Giving Tuesday when we will ask you to support your station during the season of commerce. (laughs) Giving Tuesday is November 27th, which is coming up. You don't have to wait until then to give. However, you can go online at WMNF.org or call 813-238-8001 so that your dollars can have a big impact on your community. We appreciate that, especially if you're a fan of live music, as we know we are on this here program. So uh, make that uh, that tax-deductible gift to WMNF today. You can do it even though we don't, I don't think we have anybody at the front desk today. So uh, just go to WMNF.org, hit the tip jar. They make it very easy for you there. Yeah, anybody who puts money in the tip jar can have one of my CDs. Your new CD? All you do is show up here and say, hey, I tipped uh, the live music show, and I'll leave some CDs for you. Well, that's really great. They got 14 original songs recorded by Mr. Bill Dudley. Yeah. (laughs) Jimmy Payne's new CD. I endorse it. And this is one of the (laughs) songs there. You did a good job on it. I want this little girl to learn this by the next time you and I sit down to play together because it's real simple. This guy goes from C to E minor to A minor to F. You'll be able to do it in five minutes. What's this one called there, Ed Lehman wrote this song. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it's... uh, It put me to shame, which I will explain later.
Midnight and you're dreaming Above us stars are streaming Toward the dawning They'll be belonging to the day In the dawning We'll be belonging to the day Excellent song. Isn't that a great song? That's written by our very own Ed Lehman, who is actually running one of our cameras today and does a great job when he sits in for me as the host of this show. You can listen to Ed's show on Thursday evenings here at WMNF Community Radio. 7 o'clock, right? Show's at 7? 6 to 8. What's that? 6 to 8. 6 to 8. Okay, yeah, they, they change the times every couple of years on me to keep me, uh, keep me off balance here. 6 to 8, the... Uh, the Hoot Nanny, postmodern Hoot Nanny on WMNF on Thursday evenings for Ed's show. Ed, uh, Ed and uh, uh, Brian Panier are running cameras today, uh, part of our live music showcase video crew, along with Larry Lockdown on the third camera, and we've got Bob Hoke directing the show today. Mark Perfetti mixes it all up audio-wise. Today he's assisted by Richard Stone. Richard is also our... Uh, our YouTube producer, and he will see that this show gets onto YouTube by tomorrow sometime, and uh, with uh, names of songs and all kinds of good information put on it there. So it'll be really great. You can watch this the show again on YouTube starting tomorrow, courtesy of Mr. Richard. So uh, Gabriella Rose, our guest on today's show, you got your guitar in your hand. Um, what are your influences in songwriting? How who are people that you've been listening to? so um, far as you've been writing songs and stuff? Well, I usually listen to soulful singers and jazz singers like Aretha Franklin uh -huh. and Etta James and Ella Fitzgerald, and they're a really big inspiration in my life also. Wow. Do you want to sing jazz songs at some point? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I'm actually going to sing it Summertime at Carnegie Hall on December 15th. Wow, New tell York. us about that. What's the deal on that? Um, well, there was a competition and I won second place and I got to I'm getting to perform there December fifteenth in New York. Wow. With some other young people? Um or just yeah, I would all think kinds so. of people. Yes. Um uh, other young people. Yes. Uh -huh. And it's a really um great opportunity and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity also i would say yeah not too many of us have ever had that kind of coverage <laughs> it's great so what are you gonna do for us right now um i'm also gonna play a um original song it's called merry christmas little star okay gabriella rose on the live music showcase
Good song. Good song from Gabriella Rose, one of our guests on today's live music showcase here from WMNF. I'm Bill Dudley. This is a show we do every Friday afternoon at 2.06. Live on the air, we've got some of the best of Bay Area talent and folks that are touring around the country, too. So it's a great show. Tune in again whenever you get a chance. And you can always watch our show on Facebook Live. LMSWMNF is how you get there. And uh, we'll also be on uh, YouTube. This show will also be on YouTube. And as all of our other shows are going back, geez, I don't know, three or four years now. And uh, Richard Stone, the man who has helped us get our YouTube presence together, doing a great job here. This is the Live Music Showcase. How are the guests on today's show? Jimmy Payne, songwriter, singer, raconteur. Now, I understand you live part of the time down here in the Bay Area. The other time you uh, engage in uh, angling activities up in up in the north. What's well, up with um, that? Sometimes you're called the fishing musician. Yeah, the first job I got out of high school, I was a fishing guide in Yellowstone Park. It was my day job. Okay. And at night, I'd play in the gin mills uh, on the, I'd like Cody, Wyoming, or uh, West Yellowstone, Montana. And there was always a party to play at. So uh, that, they took to calling me the fishing musician back, that was 1964. I learned in 1964 that I could get drunk for free anywhere in America. It's commonly called busking, but I got more drinks than I got tips, so to speak. In 1979, I had what I pray to God was my last drink of alcohol. And I quit listening to country music. <laughs> I've been playing different kinds of songs since then. But this song was about my busking career. In my illustrious busking career, I played places far and near. Any old time of the year, and I've sometimes when there was nobody around to hear, I've played on city streets and trailer parks, coffee shops and biker bars. I played the states from coast to coast, I can boast of that. I played my guitar in the Grand Canyon floor, in Newfoundland's rocky shore, 
I paid for people who called for more and people who showed me out the door. But this song is about one particular night when the circumstances did conspire to cause this hippie busker to set his pants on fire. It was a Wednesday night in the winter of 1973, and I was living in Massachusetts near the Connecticut border, and I got thirsty and bored. I thought, oh, I'll go out and find a gin mill where people will put their change in my guitar case instead of the jukebox and buy me some drinks. The place I found was what was known to buskers as a cut-and-shoot bar. Say it's a cut and shoot bar because all the customers had chainsaws and guns in their trucks, but there were also knives and pistols in the place. <laughs> they gave me permission to start tuning up, and I was smoking a cigarette at the time, a camel it was. Somebody hollered, play Ring of Fire, and it was more of a command than a request, and I thought, well, that's good because Ring of Fire gets lots of drinks and tips, isn't it? popular song back then. What am I going to do with this cigarette? I didn't see any ashtrays in sight, and I thought it'd be impolite, I just made a rhyme there, to stomp it out on the floor, so I had what sounded like a good idea at the time. I took my cigarette, and I rolled up my pants club cuff around it, squeezed it. I thought this blue denim would put that cigarette out, and I started singing. I was going down, down, down when I looked down and there was smoke rising from my ankle. The blue jean had failed to do the job. I was undaunted. I started tapping my foot to the ankle of the foot that was smoking. And I put out the fire and finished the song to thunderous applause. <laughs> I played my guitar on the Grand Canyon floor. I played for people who shouted for more. Folks who showed me out the door. But this was a song about tonight. Circumstances did conspire to cause this hippie busker to set his pants on fire. A little postscript. I know that setting your pants on fire is a euphemism for being dishonest, but it's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, Jimmy Payne. Now, that's, I referred to the Ed Put Me to Shame by writing that beautiful love song for his wife. He and I were getting together and talking about songwriting and guitar playing every week for a while, and I thought, well, we'll see what we can come up with. He wrote that beautiful love song, and I, I come up with a song about setting me pants on fire. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a place for everything in this world, <laughs> all different kinds of music, and that's uh, we've learned that over the last 10 years or so in the on the live music showcase here from WMNF. That's Jimmy Payne with his guitar. And uh, I, I gather you've had kind of a long uh, career picking and singing. I started in 1960. I got my first guitar. Really? And uh, kid. I traded a box of comic books in $3 for a Stella, uh, a Stella or Silvertone. Okay. And uh, I learned three chords and I was off to the races. Really? And uh, I, I busked from... I still go out busking every once a year. I play at Sweetwater for tips, you know. Uh -huh. So I, I've been busking since 1964. I played in the coffee houses a lot. They were popular in, in the 60s. 60s, yeah. And uh, I played around town. I've warmed up for people at uh, Skipper's Smokehouse and for... Uh, so you've been living in this area for a long time. I've been in Florida since 79, yeah. Okay. If anybody listening to this knows of play venues where people like to hear folk music folk singers who tell stories uh i'm i'm happy to go out and tell stories and sing i have a hard time doing happy hours yeah. because when people are getting drunk i can't relate to it anymore it's yeah. been like i say 40 years since i had my last drink and yeah, uh, yeah i love to play music and i'll play in a gin mill if people are there to hear folk music but uh mm. if people are there to get drunk i get uncomfortable you know yeah yeah well of course everybody would rather play for somebody who's actually listening to I was, it when i was playing talking. busking for drinks i'd tell people drink up the drunker you get the better i sound right. <laughs> 
Well, Jimmy Payne, one of our guests on today's live music showcase from WMNF. It's a show that we do every Friday afternoon here. And uh, we've got Mark Perfetti doing the mixing today, assisted by Richard Stone. We've got uh, Brian Panier and uh, Ed Lehman on the cameras, along with Larry, Larry Lockdown. And Bob Hoke is the director of this here radio show, which he does every week, and we're happy to have him. So, uh, and most of the time, Steve Arduango is our show's producer. Well, our other guest on the show today is Gabriella Rose, another uh, seasoned performer, right? <laughs> Where all have you performed so far? Um, well, uh, we performed uh, we performed at uh, Sweetwater. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to be doing it some more. Okay. Um, and uh, well, let's 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 put in a plug for Sweetwater. That's the Sweetwater Organic. What's the full name of it? Uh, I don't know. I've anyway, only been sweet, there once. Sweetwater Farm. And uh, on Sundays, they have live music starting around yes. the middle of the day. Yes. People are picking up their veggies, and uh, and they've got booths and things like that. So it's a nice scene. Yes. Yeah, and they well, get them. Pro- two featured acts, one at 12 and one at 1, and then they have an open mic. Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sweetwater Organic Co-op, I think, is the proper name of the place. And, uh, yeah, so that's a, it's a nice thing. So do us another song here. Okay. What's this going to be? It's called Sincerely by the McGuire Sisters. Oh, yeah. I remember when this first came out.
Yeah, a song from Gabriella Rose, one of our guests on today's live music showcase from WMNF in Tampa. This is the live music showcase. We're coming to you live from the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio here, high atop the uh, discreetly flashy studios of WMNF. (laughs) So uh, have you taken voice lessons, Gabriella, or are Um, you just kind of singing naturally? Or I have taken very little voice lessons, but I'm starting to work up to take some. I usually, um, I usually started, I started it naturally, but um, then I want to, I learned that I have to learn more because I might be hurting my vocal cords. Yeah, so I important. have to yeah. use it in the proper way. So Yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably a really good thing. Definitely. Do you intend to be a singer professionally at some point? Yes. Because, I mean, you're still in school now. Yes. So what, what are some of your plans? Um, my goal is to make a career out of music and... Um, Work up to my dream. Uh huh. S- singing and playing for folks. Yep. Yeah. Why do you think you like to do that? Um, I don't know. Like I was saying, I just felt like it had. I had a really great connection with it, and I mean, also so far, uh, we've been visiting. My family and I have been visiting different places, and we've seen different musicians, and they're just really great people. And you get to learn more about the industry mm-hmm. and how it works. Yeah. Well, it's good to hang out with other folks that are, yeah. that are sort of doing the same thing. Yeah. So we, got to, we got to go to Nashville and we got to learn a lot because we went to um, see Liz Rose inside the industry. So we got to meet her. And mm-hmm. it was great because um, I actually got to go up on stage with her at the Bluebird Cafe and I got to sing Girl Crush with her. So. Was this in Nashville? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was okay. a really great experience. Well, yeah, that's it. That's something. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, we'll have you again. And, you know, you know every time we have you, I'm sure you'll, you'll have new songs for us. Yes. Yeah. So, Gabriella Rose, one of our guests on today's show. We've got uh, also Jimmy Payne is on the show today. Uh, we've got about, oh, I don't know, seven minutes to go. You want to try to fill up that time with a few of sure. your songs? I'll, um, yeah, I think you have a pretty extensive repertoire, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see how much, if we have any time left when I finish this song, we'll do Up She Rises. Yeah, we all have to sing along on that. Yeah. We have to get the camera crew here to sing along on You that. should be able to sing along on this one, because you're pretty bright. God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone. You sing that three times, and then there's more to it. By the time I get to the third chorus, you'll probably know all of it. Well, what's the name of this one? God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone by uh, Reuben, no, um... Birds of Chicago. God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone. God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone. How I'm going to feel when it goes, I don't know, but that's another song. God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone. Thank God for the kind of happiness you can't explain. Thank God for the kind of happiness you can't explain. By any right, late last night could have bled into another bad day. So thank God for the kind of happiness you can't explain. Now the sun is a rose and the lake's a bowl of wine. The sun is a rose and the lake is a bowl of wine. I've got enough love for all of us in this heart of mine. And the sun is a rose, the lake is a bowl of wine. God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone. God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone. God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone. Put your weight on me, honey. Drop it on me like a stone. 
Put your weight on me, honey. Drop it on me like a stone. I'll take your heavy weight. Make it light as a feather. And I'll never leave you alone. Put your weight on me, honey. Drop it on me like a stone. Cause right now I feel like I'm never gonna let you down. Right now I feel like I'm never gonna let you down. I think about a beautiful morning. Gone. And right now I feel like I'm never gonna let you down So God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone God bless this beautiful morning till it's gone How I'm gonna feel when it goes I don't know but that's another song God bless this beautiful morning Till it's gone. Good job. Good job. Yeah. I was, I was ready to hear another verse of that. Yeah. Uh, I have to write one. Yeah, I think you need to expand on that a little bit. <laughs> Great song, isn't it? <laughs> Where did that come from? I was listening to Stuart McLean talk show, and he has musical guests. And he, he said, uh, as he introduced the group, he read... He, read the lyric to the chorus aloud and I just I was I, th I was on my way into a meeting it was getting started mm -hmm. and I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this meeting I gotta hear this song <laughs> and I, I raced home after the meeting and learned it it's, mm -hmm. I think it's the most beautiful song I've ever heard and it was by Birds of Chicago that was the name of the band what's that you said the name of the band was Bird? the Birds of Chicago they played it in uh, the Strass Center somewhere last year okay. I missed them okay. yeah. so most of the music. people he has on his show He's dead now, you know. He passed away. I grieve for the man. He was a national treasure of Canada. Uh huh. But he would have uh, mostly Canadian musicians. And a lot of the songs I do, I learned from that show. Uh huh. So, are you ready for Up She Rises? Well, I think we got about three minutes. You know, okay. Make it, make it fit into there, you know. Don't. Well, uh, if it we'll comes up going. short, you're going to have to keep on going around we'll the just chorus. Keep going. So. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me. Well, thank you, Gabriella you Rose. And I love playing music with you, little girl. And Jimmy Payne, mm -hmm. our guest really on today's fun. show. So this song is Oh, 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 Up She Rises. We rehearsed this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start out with the verses. Okay. Leaving safe harbor, heading for the fishing grounds, unknown waters again. Waving goodbye to the friends on shore, we're steaming with the northern wind. Well, the rays ain't rolling, the wind's picking up. Night is a coming on fast. Turns her back to the island shore. To the high waves, she'll blast. Ready? Oh, 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 up she rises. Water rolling over her deck. Oh, 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 up she rises. Guided to the sea by her captain Jack. Oh, 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 up she rises. Heading straight into the wind. Oh, 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 up she rises. Going back down, but she rises again. Morning comes and the wind. Rising sun. The captain calls all hands on deck. There's a day's work to be done. So we climb the rails and we hit the decks on the fishing grounds at last. Work the day, hear the captain say, There's a windstorm coming up fast. It's oh, oh, oh she rises, water rolling over her deck. Oh, oh, oh she rises, got it to the sea by her captain's act. It's oh, 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 she rises, head straight into the wind. She rises, she goes back down, but she rises again. I don't care who you are, that's a good guitar picking right there. <laughs> the catch is made so we steam for home to a harbor safe and warm. On a restless night, we toss and turn in wind and waves of a storm. Well, it's a northern gale and a ten-foot swell, but she's cut through the mighty sea. There's a sound of a song heard from below, it's a song the sailors sing. Oh, oh, oh up she rises, water rolling over her deck. Oh, oh, oh up she rises, guided to the sea by her captain Jack. Oh, oh, oh up she rises, heading straight into the wind. Oh, up 
she rises, water rolling over her deck. Oh, oh, oh up she rises, gotta do the sea by a Captain Jack. It's a oh, 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 up she rises, heading straight into the wind. 